Hello and welcome to Five for Friday. My name is Ross Briley, and this is my alphabetical runner by runner guide to this year's national chances. Oh, and I apologise in advance. Has a fair way to go to put himself in contention, and you might have to wait till Sunday night to see where he finishes. Again? Seriously? It could well be the right time for last year's third, assuming, of course, that this year he takes a few less fences with him on the way around. Money can't buy happiness, but it can buy you a moody teenager who will likely outrun his odds at his favourite racecourse. He's a beefy prize, but he's unlikely to give his supporters the horn come the elbow, and it looks like there's just a little bit too much at stake. He was fourth last year, and while that experience is a virtue, his effort did peter out late on. On his best, Conti is good enough to finish fourth, but he'll probably get a little bit tired late on and finish no higher than sixth. He ran flat in last year's race, but he wouldn't be the first horse to be heavily tipped one year and then get ahead the next. Do you like pina coladas? This horse is praying for rain. The 2019 Ladbrokes Trophy winner in his recent form is a little streaky, but if connections have cured his ailments, he could give backers a run for their money. You can't take it with you when you're gone, but his last two runs suggest there might be life in the old boy yet. We'll probably run his race, but memoirs of a Dacia Arbor backer are likely to end in disappointment. The Alpha who beat a Tiger role at Cheltenham and Gordon Elliott will be hoping that this cappers his season. He's got the right jockey on board, mate. And oh, no, it's borderline offensive. I can't do it. Will not stay the trip. Doo doo will not stay the trip. www.staydonstoutly from the rear for minor money dot com. He's in great form and this front runner could well ride the crest of a wave all the way to the line if he's left unhassled, but that's no shoeing. He's gone into more notebooks on his last few runs than Roy Keane did in his entire career. Could have a big chance for JP McManus. There are a few holes in his form, however this lightly raced chaser doesn't have too much to find with some shorter price contemporaries. You could be a rich man if you wager on this horse to plod one pace into the frame. He jumps, he stays, he's got rock solid form and he could give his jockey a huge chance of a big winner. You think he can win? You think he can? No, I can't do it. Art may be subjective, but he is objectively very well handicapped on his form from two years ago. The Thyestes winner could pay for your dinner. His chances look as sturdy as number six Valverde. Elegante ex cathedor de rango uno coyos mejores días están detrás de él. Can lightning strike twice for the 2017 winning team? It's worth a crack. Manella times they are a changing, but Rachel's black for more on last year's winner. She's been useful this season, but it might well be that her form has peaked after that disappointing run at Cheltenham. The Whaley Coens have spread their dreams under the feet of this recent purchase, and they'll be hoping the ground treads softly for this confirmed mudlark. A flop since winning the Kerry National, and he's been dealt a poor hand here. It's unlikely to be his turn. Form check, form check, 2-2, two, 2-2, two, 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 one 2-2. Two, two. I mean, at this point in his career, who knows? Ah, Santini, forever the bridesmaid, never the bride. Good luck, and keep on grinding. She's come back from maternity leaving fine fettle, and all the money behind this well back grey has turned Bucky's white with fright. Personally, Arga can't see this winning. Better than ever this year after flopping in the top and not ruled out of a podium finish. I've been Ross Briley. Good luck in the biggest race of the year, and we'll see you, fingers crossed, in the autumn. Sayonara.